connections all back together. Uh, we've uh, let the uh, wiring loom go. Uh, looks like a pretty heavy duty wiring, uh, especially for the unit ground and uh, the uh, positive cables that we're going to hook up to the back of the alternator. Uh, like I said, I'm I'm running a 220 uh, amp alternator on the Tahoe. That should be plenty of power for everything else that we're doing with it. The yellow switch right, the uh, yellow line right here feeds through your firewall. Uh, that goes to uh, to the switch, which is going to be in your dash. Uh, of course, this is the ground. This is the power for inside the cab. Feed the wire through the firewall. Hook it up to the accessory side of the switch. Um, everything's properly marked. You can't screw it up. Basically, to uh, clean the inside of the cell, what I did, uh, you saw I just took off the uh, top cap. Uh, pretty much the only tools you need, uh, vice grips, just to keep the center bar, because uh, this bar goes all the way through the entire unit, and if you try to just undo the uh, threaded, it's got a nylon nut at the top, it'll just cause the uh, entire bolt to spin. So you can just easily clamp it. Uh, we didn't, these threads really don't come into place, so you're not going to hurt anything. Uh, 7 sixteenths wrench, socket, whatever you want to use, pop the top off, uh, make sure you don't lose the o-rings, and uh, as soon as you loosen up the top cap, of course these tubes become uh, loose once you undo your uh, ne your um, negative lugs. Uh, for these, these are of course spot welded to the tubes. Uh, the tubes become loose once you disconnect the wiring, the tubes are loose. They'll slide right out of the assembly. Uh, your positives are bolted to the top and to the bottom. Uh, that's where these uh, big red lines come in right here. They're uh, attached to the uh, bottom of the positive lug, which is sped through the bottom of the base plate, and that holds all your uh, your plates in place. And uh, we're going to go take a look at the Tahoe and uh, take our measurements and uh, try to find the best place to mount this. Um, even though it does uh, self-circulate the fluid, I wouldn't mind finding a nice spot where I can easily service the valves, get to them easy, and keep the unit clear, I um, mean, keep the unit cool by uh, having some uh, breeze or an airflow over it. Um, every little bit helps, especially since we don't know where our amperage is going to be and, uh, until we get uh, knee deep into this thing and uh, start playing around with it. So let's go take a look at the Tahoe. 